I care about quality and about having who it is the Lord would have for me. So my stuff is going more private. I'm noticing that. It's getting more private, like, don't put that out there. Don't put that out, don't know, don't put that out there. It's getting more and more intimate and more private because it's not being honored like it should. It's not being honored like it should. People are eating from my table but patronizing other places. They can't. Because they won't come under submission like they should. They're so traditional minded and they're refusing to come out of the barrier of tradition. My appeal is seek the Lord to see exactly what the deal is. Seek him. Seek him. If you do like the young lady did, take off. God bless you. I love you. Nothing against you. I'm being honest. I'm being honest. And the thing about that is, she took off and Lord, they, they going through all kinds of stuff. You know? But just, I'm just being honest now. This is me. I don't know no other way to be. I'm not one of them that's going to lie to you. Because I'm not one of them that's just after your tithe or after your offering or whatever. I'm after your soul. And doing things in proper protocol. I don't want trim caught up in nothing. That it should not be in. You know, I don't. I don't, I don't want that. So, it's proper protocol of how things need to be done. So, please, seek the Lord to see what my position is in your life. And, and, and you know, I'm already game for it, for however it needs to be. And, um, and we go from there. Do you understand what I'm saying, what I just said to you? Do you understand? Do I got anybody? Any questions, comment? No, I understand. Yes, please, comment. Mm-hmm. So... We're in a season of movement. Let's move. Let's move. We're in a season of movement. Some of y'all got some great callings on your life, and it's time. It's time. That's the reason why all these people passing out away, because it's the changing of the guard. I'm telling you, these folks that just don't want to let nothing go, want to keep holding things, and been trying to orchestrate God's house the way they want it to be instead of how God wanted it to be. Watch what I tell you. Rest in peace. That's what it's going to be. Because your season, your moment, your time, you ain't got no business been sitting in a place for years and you still ain't doing nothing. When there is a call on you, when there is purpose in you, no, it's time for somebody to pull that out of you. Any questions or any comments? Any questions? Any comments? I hate when I do stuff like that. They get hush my <laughs> phone. <laughs> like, I hate oh, when that happens. Man, I hate when that happens. Boy, I'm going to tell you something about Negroes. <laughs> Woo, Negro, okay. boy, Negroes get the hush my so quick. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know nothing else. You like a mic in. drop. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you know, so. But I love y'all, man. I love you enough to tell you the truth. I'm scared to not tell you the truth. I'm scared, man. I ain't gonna lie. I'm scared. I don't want to. I'm scared. I, I, I don't want to miss God. I'm scared, boy. I'm not crying when I talk to you. I don't want to miss God, yo. I don't got nothing else for this world no more. I'm done. I'm done with this world. I've been new. I wasn't living on nothing but God. I've been new. That their thing died some years ago. I ain't got nothing else. I don't want to miss God. I just want to serve him, serve his people, 
do what he purposed for me to do. Until he raptured me out of here or I lay in the grave. Whichever one, you know. My flesh lay in there, but I don't have nothing else for this world no more. I don't want to lie no more. I don't want to cheat no more. I don't want to gossip no more. I don't want to slander no more. I don't even want to smoke weed no more. Yeah, you know that's God. That's God. <laughs> oh, Lord. You know, that's really God right there. But I don't want to, man. I don't want to hurt people. I don't. I just want to live out the rest of my life. In his presence. Because in his presence is the fullness of joy. I don't want to be worried no more. I don't want to be stressed no more. I don't want to be bitter no more. I don't want to be angry no more. I don't want to be insecure no more. I don't. I don't want none of that no more. I just want. just want God. So even if it take losing some people, God, I love you. I'll let you touch me, but I ain't gonna let you hold me. See, the scripture said what we just read. He said, you either hold one or despise the other. Say, I won't let you hold me, but I'll let God hold me. I'll let you touch me, but I can't let you hold me. Because if you ever decide to walk away from me, I still need to be whole when you go. I still need to be W-H-O-L-E when you leave. So I'll let you touch me. Touching me means when you touch me, I feel you, you feel me. But I can't let you hold me. I just want to live out the rest of these days for him. So, I'm committed to the truth. I'm committed to serving him. I'm committed to serving you. But let's do it in righteousness and in honor. Let's honor those that the Lord has placed in our paths to be vessels in our lives. If you receive something, from anybody, honor them. Show honor to them. That honor will go a long way with God and honor returns back to you. It returns back to you. One last round. Any questions or any comments before we get out of here? Oh, okay. I was just reminded of the teaching when you said honor will return back to you about David and Jonathan. You know, his son was down in Lodabar or whatever, and then when the passing was thrown to David, he went back and because he honored um, Jonathan. his friend. Yes, and he went back and got his son. Mm -hmm. Honor will cause some things to return. When you honor, I honor people. I honor my apostle. I honor. I don't play about it. You mess around here and dishonor people and then you get in a position of authority, what y'all think gonna happen to you? Hmm? You gonna get dishonored. Because you're going to reap what you sowed. So I don't I don't dishonor folk. I don't. I'm too scared. I'm scared. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm not going to hurt you. If I ever do, I promise it wasn't intentional. I'm not 
my garbage. Father, I thank you this morning for allowing me to meet with your people again, God. I thank you for the words that you have allowed to go forth, God. I thank you for, for what you've done. Like the old time song said, this old heart of mine. I thank you for what you've done in it. For how you've converted it, how you've convicted it, how you're yet pruning and purging it, and how you've done it. It's the book of Jeremiah said, written in your heart and not your garments. How you just begin to wring it out, God. I want to thank you for the impurities coming out of it. And for nothing but your righteousness coming inside of it. I want to thank you for allowing me to speak to your people, God, for the release this morning. I I so honor you. I so honor you. I honor you. I honor you. I'm just captivated by you. And all that you do, I'm captivated. As I look at me and I say, I can't believe. Who will use me? I can't believe I will be made it to this place of parity in my life that I've arrived at. Me, me, but I'm so grateful. I pray I be the best for you people. I pray I make you smile, man. I pray I make you smile every day. I don't want anything else out of this world done with I just want to live out your purpose and plan for the rest of my days I'm content I'm good I pray you people hear from my heart what is spoken and make the necessary changes and adjustments so that they can make it to the place as well it's a beautiful place to sit in. It's a beautiful place to sit in. And not be dead sitting in it. Because most folks think you got to die to sit in this place. But you can sit here while you live. You can sit here while you live. You can sit in peace. When you know your love worketh no ill towards his neighbor. You can sit in a place of provision. When you know that your God will supply all your needs according to his riches and glory. You can sit in a place of dominion. Where you know that you've been redeemed from the law of sin. I sit in that place. And God, I love you. I love you. I'm thankful for you. For remembering little old death for me. For remembering little old Delphine. That one they said, ah, Delphine ain't gonna grow up to be nothing. She gonna have a whole bunch of children. No, I didn't. And I grew up to be something. Now I'm making a difference. I love you, man. I love you. I love you. You took something from nothing. You made something out of it. I love you. I love you. May the people that are assigned to me be honored by what is given. May they take heed, become subject, and submissive. No, by way of control, I wouldn't dare control anybody. But I'm willing to lead by the Spirit. Follow me as I follow Christ. Thank you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I love y'all, man.